This is part two of the ATU month in process, how to close the month. In part one, we covered printing the status list, can be done many times, getting you your printouts of the yellow, white, pink, green, blue, and monthly cover sheet, having completed those and gotten the printouts of which you should have two copies, one for you and one to send to the National Union. We must do a backup next. To do a backup, I'm closing out of here with the X button. I'm returning back to the logo, going up to the word File, Table Operations, Backup and Restore. These procedures have been covered in an earlier lesson. I've selected all. Hit the backup button. It gives me my save in as MUMS2000, and it gives me today's date save. It's going through and making my backup for me. Backups are important before you close the month. Now that my backup has been done, I get out of the backup process and return back to reports ATU month in. Again, having printed my yellow, white, pink, green, blue, and monthly cover sheets, so I have two copies, one for me to keep at the local and one to the National Union. I'm now ready for step number five. Step number five requires a password that the financial secretary treasurer has been taught. I'm typing it in. I'm hitting the OK to close the month. It tells me my month in process is complete, and it moves my month to the next new month for me automatically. Again, the user has no time or no purpose of ever changing that. Having closed the month, it would be wise to go look for my person named George Washington and see that George Washington no longer is a status code 16. George Washington has been moved to his permanent status code of 10. If I go into his notes, I can see that it was the ATU month in process that changed to status code from the temporary value of 10 to the permanent value, from the temporary value of 16 to the permanent value of 10. Returning back to his basic screen, having made this random check, I'm sure everything has been done correctly, and I'm ready to handle the future events in my next future month. This concludes part two of closing the month using the ATU month-end process.